I'm down here with Michael Lee and I'm about to go and attempt to do 200 laps. I'm not a big fan of road riding. I love mountain biking. It's a bit softer on the backside than road riding. So I'll go and see how I go. I don't jump on a road bike very often, Michael. It's probably once every two years with two at O Rock I get on a road bike. So you're very privileged to have, to have oh, me down here on a road bike. <laughs> I'm, I'm on once a year when we do this, so I completely right there with you, Matthew. My, my backside will pay for it tomorrow, but I think it's a, it's a worthy cause. How have you been going so far this morning? You started at four. I feel yep. a bit soft. It's only seven o'clock now. So you started at four. How many were down here at four? Uh, uh, started at four. We had 13 boys camp overnight in the Dubbo Rugby Club clubhouse, which yeah, they were nice enough to, to give us the keys to. Yep. Um, and we got going at 4 a.m. Um, and then we had more boys turn up at about 4.30. So we probably had about 20 here. Yeah, uh, and then the Dubbo Social Cycling Club came and pumped out a few laps for us, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, and then you're here as well, so it's been really good community support so far, and, and the boys are uh, trucking along as well. There's plenty there that have done sort of 50 or 60 laps each now, yeah, so yeah, right, yeah. it's really good. I better stop talking and get out there. I'm trying to avoid it, you see. I'm trying to, uh, to talk uh, longer yeah, and, yeah. and put it off Well, a I saw longer. you and thought I'd come in, right? So, yeah, yeah you were my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. So, look, well done on this. So, uh, you, you've got a four o'clock this afternoon. Yep. Um, last time you did it 7622 laps that's right so you think you're on track to crack that yep yep certainly you and the Dubbo uh, social cycling club have helped us along the way so far but yeah I think we're we're hopefully well on the way and there'll be more boys piling through and cracking laps through for the rest of the day so oh, yeah. let's hope so yeah, good cause to, to get some awareness around domestic violence yep. and uh, you know I just think it's good to have Contaf and have, have the boys from Contaf out here as well and have them seen in the community yeah absolutely and we've got boys from Griffith that have traveled all the way up to uh, they rode down, did they? They didn't ride from Griffith. <laughs> That'd be a hell of an a hell of an effort. They drove uh, drove up and stayed the night here, and, and they're sort of getting in and, and, and helping us as well with White Ribbon Day and domestic violence. So that's a very good cause, and the boys go hard. Yeah, well, well done, mate. Cheers. Thank the great you, work. Matthew. Right Appreciate it. Thanks, Get in there. No more excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, how many laps have you done so far today? 39. 39. Since four. Yeah, since four o'clock this morning. How many have you done? 121. 121. So how are the legs feeling? <laughs> how do you think they'll be feeling tomorrow? Dead. <laughs> I think you're right. Rafe, you've been here doing a few laps this morning. Oop, we've got danger on the track. Danger. <laughs> right now, we've avoided that. You've been here, what time did you start here this morning? Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock, good effort. So how many laps have you done so far? Uh, like 160. So what's this day mean to you? Uh, just a day to help Clontarf, have fun with my mates, and yeah, have a good time. Good to see you here, Ash, supporting Clontarf. Absolutely, good on them. Yeah. Good to see them having a go these I didn't see you down here at four o'clock this morning. No, no, I was doing our thing. <laughs> He's in year eight at Delroy. So Riley, Hello. how you been going today? Good, good. How many laps have you done so far? I'd say it's nearly a hundred. Nearly a hundred, great effort. Six thousand you've done. <laughs> so you've done around a hundred. How are the legs or the bottom or the hands? What's what's feeling the worst? Yeah. The, the stomach or the heart? Right here, I've got a stitch. Oh have you? Yeah. All uh, right. That makes it tough. Lucky. How long have you been involved in Clontarf? Um, since the start of this year. Right, and how do you find it? Pretty good. Yeah, so what sort of activities are you involved with? Um, afternoon activities like sport, um, home of Zeta, um, camps. Okay, and do you think it's improved your attitude to school? Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, Over four years the program's been going now, yes. and so are you seeing some real differences the program's making with the kids? I've seen changes and big changes. Yeah. Not only with the um, with the boys I work with, but even the community. Yeah, okay. So you, you think that the, the acceptance of some of the Aboriginal boys in the community has been improved? Yes, and it's going to show um, 
especially with our, a lot of our boys are working now. Yeah. Time, school based traineeships. Yeah, good. And I think that's the real secret, isn't it? The real secret to getting out of that cycle of poverty is to get people into jobs. Yeah, hopefully that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yes. Got one of the spectators here that's come down to join us on the day. One on the phone from Broome and one on the sideline. <laughs> Have a look. Absolutely. What, what do you think is a spectator sport? Do you think it's pretty riveting? It's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes to 4 p.m. this afternoon. It's not quite 9 o'clock yet. So it, the, the good part is you've got another seven hours of I spectating. I my day in watching cyclists, cyclists go round and around and around and never get sick of it. lose count as we go across the start finish line here so that's 116 good work and what time did you come down to start this morning oh, four o'clock how often do you get up at four o'clock oh, never <laughs> well, it's a good effort to come down do you like the idea there's lots of community support and lots of people down here yeah you're not in Clontarf Kale but you come down here to support the guys yep. yeah you're at the Delroy campus obviously yep. yeah so you see a lot of difference with some of the kids that have been in Clontarf now compared to the kids that might not have had Clontarf opportunities in years gone by? Yeah, they've, yeah they've, um, they receive a lot of help and they support them a lot through school and help them later on in life as well. And I think Clontarf obviously is focused on specific boys with specific outcomes, but I, I've been talking to other students over the years, I think other students see a change in the whole school environment with Definitely. Clontarf there. So I've been at the school Delroy. 2012. Right. And I can assure you that the attendance of those Aboriginal boys has gone up. Yeah. When I was first started in 2012, came over from England, I'd be lucky to get a group of 20 boys on my roll. Right. I'd be lucky to get four or five. Yeah, right. But with the Clontarf Academy, they're there in the morning, ready to work. Yep. So it has definitely improved those standards. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> I'm riding along with Michael Lee, who's the director of Clontarf here in Dubbo. Michael, great effort today to have this event put on. Yeah, thank you very much. It's always a good uh, event. It's the third time we've run it. It's always been a really positive day for the community, which is, you know, it's, uh, it's a pleasurable day to spend riding around, around the Dubbo Valley. You're seeing a difference in the outcomes in the community? Yeah, absolutely. You're seeing a difference in the boys. You don't, it's like when you've got your children, you don't see them grow particularly because you're there every day, but if you do sometimes sort of stand back and take note and see see how the boys have changed, and we certainly see the, the changes in the attendance rates and, and all those things. We're very, um, we're very much a data-driven organisation in order to get the funding and get the stuff we have to show to cause as to why we're here, and, and so a lot of data, you see that, but you also see the individual wins of boys you know, really increasing their attendance and getting some real wins, and the boys that are graduating year 12 this year or just graduated some of those boys were you know on a hiding to nothing and, and looked like they weren't going to do so and now they're killing it and just came back from the northern territory on their new trips yeah and you must be very proud of that because some of those boys you would have been associated with back when they were just in the maybe Absolutely. year eight year nine yeah that's right yeah those boys were in year just just going into year nine when i am um, when i came on board just little fellas so yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a really positive thing and there's probably a good chance that some of Nice work, Mikey. Mikey just said he's his 72nd lap. Yeah, he's going well. I spoke to him already. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, again, some of those boys you would have seen say, at the beginning of year nine, and without Clontarf's intervention, there's probably a pretty good chance some of those would not have made it to year 12. Yeah, look, I know that if you ask them, they'd say that. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like they do, I talk to them about it, and they, I'm sure they're, you know, some of them have got huge hearts and, and every capability in the world, so I'm sure they would have found a way, some of them, but. Yeah, I certainly know that we've made a difference being there for them. Yeah, yeah, and that's great. And that's what 
programs like this are all about is getting those outcomes. Yeah. And, and the data's one thing, but again, when you just see those individual examples where you know a, an individual, more than one individual, that might have been on a on a down spiral yep. and Clontarf got them going upwards and then to, to actually achieve some things. I think you'd be very proud of that and all your staff would as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's those individuals that make us want to come back and, and make us love every minute of it. Yeah. Well, well done on your efforts with everything you've done with Clontarf. Well done on your efforts today. I'm not sure if I'll be thanking you tomorrow, but uh, hopefully we'll see this continue on and, and continue that exposure and awareness. Yeah, absolutely. Well, rest assured, we'll be thanking you, Matthew. So. <laughs> Thank so you, Michael. Work. I'm down to only two laps to go and it's been an incredibly enjoyable morning. It's been great to ride along, have a chat to a few of the boys, talk to Michael Lee, the director, talk to some of the operation officers and some of the other people involved. Well done to Clontarf and well done to all the people involved for putting this on and really raise awareness of domestic violence. Here comes Matthew in for his 200 laps finishing off. Watch out boys. Watch out Lockie. 200 laps and unlike other politicians I kept my promise it's 9.59 and 44 seconds so I just made it by 10 o'clock. So right under to Michael Lee, welcome under, right under Consar. Great event and I really enjoyed riding around with the boys and having a chat. Well done, thank you very much Matthew. Thanks Michael.